All right, so here's the beginning of my new Arduino setup for the Audi RS4. So this guy over here is the current setup. I've removed one of the canvas shields, uh, so there's one right here, uh, but everything is still wired in like it was before. Uh, that second canvas shield wasn't uh, current, isn't currently in operation. Um, so I'll be able to return him to the vehicle and keep the car running uh, as it was and operating as it as it was while I build this new setup. So this new setup is very similar. So Arduino Mega. Uh, these are Seed Studio V2 Canva shields. And at this point, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five of those. Um, and in the middle, uh, one of the other new bits is I've got this little shield board. Essentially, it's just a prototyping board that connects in between the um, Seed Studio shields and the Arduino Mega. And what it does is it gives me lots of pins to uh, connect to a lot easier permanently. Um, so, for example, um, all of these guys connect to the Arduino, and then all those numbered uh, solderable pinholes uh, give me spots where I can solder in uh, components or wires uh, to hardwire in uh, make it a little bit more robust. So, uh, Arduino Mega, five canvas shields. Here I've got two, these are those Pololu um, H-Bridge controllers. Uh, so one of them will control the e-booster bypass valve, uh, commanding it open or closed and making sure that it actually goes there. Uh, the other one, I'm actually going to uh, replace the Snow Performance Water Meth controller uh, and just use the Arduino to drive that logic. And this guy will actually drive the water meth pump because this guy is capable of uh, 17 amps output and that water injection pump pulls about 11 amps max. So this will easily handle the current required by the um, water injection pump. So all of this assembly and a few other little bits of uh, circuitry will be hardwired between these units, uh, so specifically this shield board, these um, H-bridge controllers. I'll have some voltage converters that will allow, that will take the 12 volts in from the car and convert it, drop it down to nine volts, which the Arduino likes a lot. Uh, and then I'll also have a five volt converter uh, for the output. That way the Arduino is not responsible for sending five volts out for all of the sensors. But uh, this will all be in a 3D printed case. And on the back of the case, I will mount this plug. So this is a 50 pin uh, from TE, a 50 pin connector. And the 3D printed housing will have those six screw holes in it where I can screw it from the back side. Not so worried about the weather seal because this will be all internal to the vehicle, but um, it's a nice piece. So all the wires from this shield and from these H-Bridge controllers will um, connect to the back side of this. So this is designed to solder to a circuit board, but I also have the freedom to solder uh, wires directly to it. So that's what I'm going to do to begin with. Again, we're kind of at proto -type, type phase here. So this will all be in one box, uh, very much like an ECM. Um, and this will replace that uh, panel that I currently have that mounts the Snow Performance uh, controller in the glove box. And on the face here, I'll have access to each of the CAN buses uh, and the Arduino for uh, reprogramming. But the CAN buses, so uh, maybe not in this order, but this will be just monitoring what's on the powertrain bus from the uh, Audi powertrain uh, data. This guy will be monitoring the data that's on the private bus be that goes between ECM1 and ECM2. Um, there's nothing else that that bus connects to, so this guy will be able to extract any data uh, that's sent between the two ECMs, which will give me a lot of information I don't have access to currently. 
The third guy will connect to the comfort bus. And on the comfort bus, I'll have access to read all of my steering wheel button presses. I'll have access to uh, sending data to the DIS screen, so the screen that's in the center of the dash between the speedo and the tachometer. Um, this guy will be connected to the one of the two CAN buses that I've added to the car. So this guy will communicate with one of the e-boosters. It'll also communicate with uh, the battery, the 48 volt battery BMS, um, as well as this guy will also receive the standard uh, signals from the radio. Uh, so that way the radio, uh, this guy plays in a kind of middleman operation between the radio and the DIS screen. So I can understand what's coming from the radio. And if I want to display it on the DIS, I can send it out on this bus. If not, I can send out whatever I want on this bus uh, to the DIS screen. So uh, oil pressure or boost pressure or whatever. And this last uh, CAN bus shield will be connected to the second bus that I've added to the car, uh, which is required for the second e-booster. Uh, and I can divvy up what's connected to these two buses as I see fit, because they essentially do the exact same thing. Uh, this just connects to one e-booster and this connects to the other e-booster, because those two can't be connected to the same bus. Um, so uh, these guys will be responsible for receiving and sending data uh, across the buses. Uh, the Arduino will be responsible for uh, interpreting all of the zero to five volt signals from the sensors. So I've got a I'm filling all of the analog channels. Uh, so oil pressure, barometric pressure, pressure post compressor, uh, but pre e-boosters, uh, pressure after e-boosters and a, a turbo compressor, but before it goes up to the front. Uh, intake manifold pressure, so at the manifold, and exhaust manifold pressure, so EMAP. Uh, I've got wideband O2, uh, EGT, so that's right, uh, pre-turbine, uh, T1.5, so that's um, also, uh, that's temperature, but at the same point, so right after the turbocharger, but before the e-boosters, uh, temperature just after the e-boosters, uh, intercooler coolant temp, uh, e-booster coolant temperature, so there's a coolant uh, circuit going through the e-boosters, uh, throttle body has two 0 to 5 volt uh, position sensors on it, and then these two analog channels will be going to the H bridges uh, as current sensors. So I'll be able to monitor how much current the H bridges are uh, sending out. And then a bunch of other stuff. So all the relays that the Arduino controls to control the power on and off to different circuits, 48 volt charging, um, scavenge pump on off, it's receiving turbo speed signal, and then up here, these are all guys that connect direct between the Arduino and the H bridges. And then you can see here, these are the um, SPI pins. So each one of these tells the Arduino which, or I should say the Arduino tells the uh, CAN bus shields, which CAN bus shield to use at that particular moment. Um, so this is the beginning of the project. Got to design a housing, got to finish up the wiring diagram and get to cutting and soldering wires and uh, bits and pieces. So a little bit of a long video, but lots of good fun. And I've got lots of new wires here to run nice 14 gauge stuff uh, between the H bridges and the, the motors that they'll control. So the it's definitely overkill for the throttle body or the, the bypass valve, uh, but it's about the right size for the uh, water meth uh, pump. And then I've got 22 gauge here. So this will, this is what I'm already using for the zero to five volt sensors. Um, but um, just more of it. And then these are the, uh, some more sensors I'm adding. So this is what we'll measure uh, P1.5 and T1.5. Uh, so that's again, post compressor, a turbo compressor, but af uh, be before the e-boosters. And then this is the coolant temp sensor that I'll be adding for the e-booster coolant circuit. So again, that guy is on the housing. That'll all be enclosed. And then I'll have now a single plug
from the wiring harness on the car uh, to plug into here rather than this group of connectors here. So much more complex, but also a lot simpler and cleaner. Uh, the evolution of the system as I learn. So I hope you guys found that somewhat interesting.